Hey everyone, Hitesh here from ET's personal tech team. Today we're taking a look at the V11 Pro by Vivo. Now this is a brand new phone, uh, launches on the 6th of September. We actually don't have the price of this right now, but we do know that it is a mid-range phone unlike the Vivo Nex which is a premium 45,000 rupee phone. Now this one is good news for those people who don't like the notch but couldn't afford to spend maybe 45,000 for something like the Vivo Nex. So as you can see on the box itself, the notch here is really tiny. They call it the water drop or the teardrop style notch. Just the front camera is visible in the notch. All of the other sensors um, are hidden. And there's nothing much else on the box. The price is also scratched out. Here's what it says on the back. Very basic specifications there. Now, in terms of pricing, we are expecting a price point of about 25 to 26,000 rupees. We'll know post the launch, obviously. But in the meantime, we can give you a look at what uh, the device is and what's inside the box. So first up, we seem to have a case here. It's a clear soft case, basic protection right from the start. That's good. You got your SIM eject tool here and some basic documentation, the warranty card and the quick start guide. Here we have the phone itself inside the box. That is a pretty big charger. This is a quick charge. You can see it says a nine volt, two amp. So that's 18 watts. You get 3.5 mm Vivo branded earphones. And over here you get a micro USB cable. So that's as far as the box contents go. There's a gradient color on the back. This particular version is called Starry Night. At least that's what it says on the box. Let me see if I can get you a closer look. It says designed by Vivo on the back and there is a blue uh, glittery sort of finish and it sort of fades out into a deep dark blue almost towards the top. So there's a gradient color. Up front, there is a screen guard already applied, so that's nice. You get that protection right from the start. On the bottom here, there's a 3.5 mm. There's the micro USB a speaker. Power and volume are on the right side. You've got the SIM tray on the left. This is a triple slot tray, so two uh, SIM cards plus uh, a, a micro SD card. And uh, over around the back, here's the dual camera. This is a 12 megapixel primary and a 5 megapixel secondary with AI features, of course. There's an LED flash as well. The front camera is a 25 megapixel. Let's power this on in the meantime. We'll set it up and show you what the notch actually looks like. Straight away, you can see that thanks to the AMOLED screen, you get really deep, dark blacks as well. So uh, we'll just come back to you in a minute after setting this up. So now the phone's been set up and actually it, it looks pretty great. And especially if they can manage to get this at a price point of about 25, 26,000, definitely under 30,000 for sure. That's what we've heard. Uh, this will be a pretty compelling option for anyone who doesn't much care for the notch. So how have they done it? Uh, the earpiece, uh, let me see if I can get you a closer look. It's a tiny little slit on the top over there. So it's a traditional earpiece, but really miniaturized. The sensors, I believe, will be under the display. So the proximity sensor and the ambient light sensor will be under the display, which is technology borrowed from the Vivo Nex. And just the 25 megapixel front uh, front facing camera uh, is there in the notch. Now, uh, this is what it looks like once it's set up. This is uh, here a closer look at the glittery back as well. Very nice premium looking. This is glass, of course. 
uh, feels quite light in the hand in terms of specs it's a snapdragon 660 so not um, a flagship grade but still the 660 is good enough for most people it's 6 gigs of ram uh, 64 gb storage there's just one version this is a 6.41 inch fhd plus super amoled display and uh, the battery is uh, 3400 milliamp hour so not the largest but it still should do for most people there is um, a little bit of quick charge support as well although it doesn't have the usb type c it still does come with an 18 watt charger which should help charge it up pretty quickly the interface uh, typical vivo there are actually a lot of options split screen one hand mode there is a smart motion gestures uh, you can have uh, there's a motorbike mode so a uh, lot of things to configure here uh, let me quickly show you what the fingerprint uh, scanner looks like when the screen's off thanks to the amoled just this tiny area lights up that's where the fingerprint sensor is so place the finger there and it should unlock now again this being an in display fingerprint doesn't really work as perfectly as capacitive but I think we may need to register the fingerprint again. So it's a hit and miss. Maybe it wasn't registered properly. We'll try that again. There is actually face unlock as well. So and that face unlock is supposed to work uh, in the dark, uh, not because it has IR, but because there's an extra sensitive uh, camera. What else in terms of bloatware? There are quite a few apps that are pre-installed. Uh, we can see phone pay, prime video, WPS, WhatsApp, Facebook, Amazon shopping, UC browser, news point. So quite a few things are and Vivo's own apps as well um, are installed. So uh, that is something that may not be to everyone's liking, but it is what it is. This is the fun touch uh, OS. There is an update actually available, which is basically a system and security update. And here you can see that it is actually Android 8.1, 6 GB RAM, 64 GB storage. So uh, that's about it for uh, the V11 Pro. Let us know what you think of the device, the size of the bezels and especially the pricing if it's around 25 26 000 rupees would you buy this phone look out for our full review uh, we will be getting that out soon in the meantime if you have any further questions reach out via twitter or in the comment section thanks for watching